Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about custom index column in Power BI using Power Query Editor. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. First of all you need to go to Power Query Editor. For that you need to go to Home and then Transform Data. If you want to add a custom column, this is tab list and so they entered by serial number. And if you want to make an index column based on sorting by alphabetical order, for that you can do that. First of all, you need to click on the name tab and then you need to click on this icon. You need to sort by ascending. So this will sort based on alphabetic order. If you look at the right side, it has an added new step as sorted rows and then you need to go to add column in the power query editor on the top add column there you will find an index column if you click on the small arrow beside to that you will find these three options from zero from one or custom if you want to start it from zero you can use this one i am just clicking on this now from zero so it added a new row trading from starting from zero to 11. total 12 rows are there. And if you want to add again one more column, you can also do that. Click on again here from 1. So it adds an index 1 and then start from 1 to 12. Now, if you go to this third option, custom, it will open up a dialog box. Say add index column, add an index column with a specified starting index and increment. If you want to make any custom, I want to start it from 5 and increment, I want it to be 5. So, every 5. So, click OK. It will create a new column starting from 5 and adding 5 for each and every row. So, start from 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, and 25. Let's add one more column with the decimals. So, I'm just clicking on again here, index column, custom. I want to start it from 1 and the increment I want it to be 0 0.1 so it's use this one the input value must be an integer so you can't able to use the in, I mean the decimal values in the increment okay I'm using it one and you want to click here also the starting index the input must be an integer so you can't able to use the decimal now let's put if accept uh, alphanumeric or not, I'm just putting it A1, enter a numerical value. So it accepts only integers without decimal and without alphabet. So I'm just putting it 1 here and with the increment 1, let's click OK. So it's create as usual 1. Let's have a look at another example. So this is an employee data, ID and name. So it is not sort with ID or it's not sort with the name. If you want to add an index and it is the data is available now, so you can go to add index and then start from one. So it creates an index column on the right side, the last column, one to ten, without change of the data sorting. So these are you can able to add a custom index column in Power BI using Power Query Editor. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.